Hi everyone, Liz here, thanks for stopping by. So I'm going to kit up a few um, of my canvases. These are all the la last ones that I'm doing for fall, y'all. Um, they're all like specials or partials or whatever. So I thought um, I'm going to kit them up because I do like to have them in little pots when I'm doing my um, wreaths and I've got two of them to do. I've got my uh, one from the range, yeah, the range, uh, which is a pre uh, boarded canvas there and uh, yeah it's got all the little gnomes on this is just one to 15 so that should be quite nice and easy to do so i'm going to use my um lipstick tray one this is from aliexpress and i've already got the numbers on these because anything that does just come that's numbered like one to 15 as this is uh, i can just put straight in the pot so that will be a quick and easy one to do um this one i'm not sure i'm sure it's under 20 colors so i'll maybe use my little 28 storage for that one that's the little gnome under the tree so it's a little bit of halloween there and a little bit of fall as well uh, it's diamond grandma's fall y'all event that i'm doing so i just thought uh, yeah i'd like to get on and do these and then this is my little squirrel that i'm doing as well so we'll get him done and i'm not sure how many colors he's got let me but these are all letters and numbers so i need to write some labels out for these so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen oh not too bad okay so let's pop him out the way there let me grab some stickers i'm going to use these are the macting uh, little half storage pots because i don't think there's many in these i may have to use two for one but uh, two for one <laughs> sounds like a good deal so yeah i'm gonna use these as well okay let's uh, get cracking on me writing out these labels you just start sort of oh no that's yx so let's start at this end then okay so oops trying to turn the pen on and it's a click one. Oh dear <laughs> so we have j r oh there's a blast from the past j r goodness me who shot j r that was a long time ago okay b c oh these are in a strange order all right d F H K L P T X and Y. Okay. Oh. when you don't use goo gone to clean off the tops of your pots uh, this just stuck to my elbow and leapt off the table obviously doesn't want to be used but i've got other ideas so it will be used okay so let's pop these onto the pots and try and keep them in some sort of order so, yeah okay so how is everybody doing hope um life is treating you as kindly as possible uh, and happy birthday to anybody that has a happy birthday today. So, yeah, we're uh, just going to hit these up and see how we get on. And then I can just crack on and do them. I can work out of the bags, um, but I tend to find with a, a wreath that I tend to miss them more because I start at one corner. So I'll probably start down here somewhere and do all one colour and then the next colour and the next colour. And occasionally you do miss one, or I do anyway. So I, rather than going and then opening a packet or looking for the packet, if they've got them all in little containers, it's easier to just pop and get one. So that's why I do it this way. Um, some people find it's too much messing around to kit up, but I quite actually enjoy kitting up. Uh, and I find it quite relaxing, <laughs> she says, as long as I don't throw them all over the floor. That's not my intention anyway. <laughs> um, I am doing a canvas at the moment and it is a gnome. Um, 
and yeah i've lost some of the drills and i've looked back on my video the joy of having a youtube channel is the fact that if you're doing something and unboxing on camera you can look back and i definitely had the drills but they were in two sections and one section i've got and one section i haven't and i've been going through my different places where i think i might have put them and i can't find them so i'm hoping that they've not got put in a bag and got thrown away somewhere <laughs> albeit i have got lots of special spare drills special spare drills spare special drills <laughs> that i can uh, sort of dip into and because i've got the video i can look uh, and just say oh well i've got that one and um, i can dip in and use that color that looks pretty much the same so fingers crossed i find them but if i don't i can still finish him off but yeah you know when you're doing something and you think oh this ain't got many drills this will be quick to do and then you're getting halfway through and you're thinking there should be more than this <laughs> Okay, so let's start off with the letter J and see how we do. Yay! Okay. I don't need to keep these bags because I am uh, putting them into little pots with the number on. So that's five. So I can put those over there. Let me just put my pen out of the way as well. Try and clear the decks a little bit. Uh, these are two lots of hard plastic so i apologize now if any of them do squeak i'll try not to let them because it's like nailed down a back blackboard to me as well and i don't like the squeak ah, yeah so yeah i thought i'd uh, pop on and do these uh, with you and have a little chat it's been uh, a bit of a week shall we say um with uh, well, I have technical. I had technical difficulties, as I said earlier uh, in a previous video. Uh, yes, I have gone. I've got a new phone, which is taking a bit of getting used to. Um, am I on a? Yes, this is a now. So I'm starting at this end. So let's keep these going. Uh, yes, yeah, so a little bit of an upgraded one. We've not got the brand newest one. I, to be honest, I said to the man in the shop, "What's the difference?" between the new one and the last version and he said nothing just a different name there's no update to the specifications on it there's you know, nothing any different so i just said oh, well we might as well have the older one you know it's like as a new one comes out then the previous version becomes cheaper well you know we're not bothered we're not the sort of people to have the oh we must have the most up-to-date um branded thing and you know be queuing outside the shops at midnight to get the first one or anything you know i'd sooner keep the money in my pocket than that but you do get to a point when you've got a mobile phone that they only do have a certain shelf life and uh, they do sort of I, don't, I think it's the batteries more than anything so yeah um so that's the new phones so they set them up in the shop for us, but then you've got all your passwords and everything to reset on your phone. And you don't realise how many you've got things on that you've got like face recognition or whatever that um, you don't put passwords in anymore. And oh goodness. Anyway, we're more or less sorted. Um, the videos do, do seem to be quite good quality. The photographs seem to be a little bit better. Our living room um, is quite dark. So I have found that it seems to take that more into account and the photographs of, we mainly just take photographs of Millie, let's be honest, our little Scottish terrier dog. Um, and we've found that they tend to be a little bit clearer, a little bit better. So possibly the camera is a lot better than the last one. I think we've gone up, what were we on last? I think we've gone up three from our last one because we've had these quite a while. I tend to keep them until they start, you know, not working properly and say we're not bothered about just going and getting the new latest version. It means nothing to us. Um, so, yeah, so I have the money in my pocket. So that was a big adventure. Uh, we got some free earphones with it, which we've not picked up yet. We did go to try and collect them yesterday, but they weren't in. So we'll wait. We'll ring up next time, but we will pass in that way anyway. So I just went to have a look. Uh, so yeah that'll be interesting um and i do need some new ear pods or earphones or whatever you call them now the wireless little things that stick in your ear because um i was listening to youtube not uh, a couple of days ago 
I sell, listen to a lot of different creators and uh, I was just pottering around and tidying up a bit and I went into the bathroom and as I got into the bathroom the ear pod decided to uh, jump out of my ear and went straight down the toilet and I was like oh no look these aren't going to fit in here so are they can I get them in let me tap them down yeah, I'm going to squash these in. I'm going to risk it. I'm going to risk it. <laughs> Famous last words. And I'll just have to be really, really careful when I open that one. Yeah. So that was the end of my ear pod. Um, because I'd put like bleach and that down the toilet. And I thought, well, there's no way I'm putting my hand in there. And then I thought, well, I wonder if I flush it. And then it, it'll... I'll be able to pick it out after that because you know like if you've ever dropped a coin or anything and it stays at the bottom of the pan as it were and uh, you can then pick it out afterwards so i flushed it and the ear pod just went Wee! and disappeared so that was the end of that so i am now listening um to youtube with one ear pod <laughs> or earphone or whatever it is that you call them uh, yeah, so that was quite a, a funny start to the week. I thought, oh, great. <laughs> I just couldn't believe it. I mean, if I'd have wanted from a standing position, not even bending over to get an ear pod to drop from my ear into the toilet, I should think I'd have taken hundreds of tries to try and do it. But because I don't want it to do that, and I didn't even realise that it was sort of like moving about. I suppose as you walk about, if you've not got them in your ears properly, they maybe do. Well, obviously they do because this one did. Uh, for, you know, get loose and fall. But yeah, it just went wee, splash straight down the toilet pram. Oh no. I mean, fortunately, they're not expensive ones. The ones that I've probably used a Vipon coupon on. Um, and got from Amazon I think they were probably about five or six pound which yeah I'd rather not have to buy another pair uh, and as it is we've had to get the new phone so I've got them free but uh, yeah <laughs> I just went oh no I said oh what have you done now I said I've lost my earphone and he says we'll fish it out I said oh I'm not fishing it out the toilet um, so I might have got a rubber glove if you know, I've not got the bleach and everything down the toilet, but oh dear me. <laughs> so that wasn't a brilliant start to the week. Uh, I hope he went to have his eyes tested because uh, last time he went for his eye injections, um, the specialist did say that, yeah, we can, uh, he could go and get his new glasses because the ones he's got are falling apart. Um, it is two years ago since we last went and they said, oh no, you need to go to the eye clinic. And oh, these are a bit staticky, so they're jumping about everywhere. Yay, booking Broncos. Oh my goodness. Right. Static drills. Yeah, that's uh, the good fun of static drills. Look, they don't just fall in one place. They jump everywhere. So, oh, I think I've managed to collect them all up now then. Can I get them in here? Uh, so, yeah, so we want to get Hubby's glasses. And uh, we it was difficult to park. It's uh, one of, it's like one of these out-of-town shopping centres. Um, and it has a spec savers opticians that uh, Hubby likes to go to. And, uh, yeah, we went there. And we'd parked... Well, we managed to find a parking space. Um, and it had, like you know when you're in a car park and uh, there's like an emergency exit on one of the buildings and they put signs up saying do not park here so we were like parked on the disabled thing here and there was another disabled person there and there was like this narrow space like this with do not park here because it was an emergency exit and when we came out somebody had parked in it and you stand and look at it and think how did you get your car into that narrow space? What on earth made you think that that was a parking space, particularly when all the ones on the other side are disabled and this person didn't have a disabled badge, so I'm presuming they weren't disabled. And how do you expect we're going to now get in the car? <laughs> so I was livid. I stood there for a while looking around to see if the person would come back. 
um, and they didn't. So, oh, look, I've missed these two off. That's <laughs> with rabbiting. That's <laughs> with getting cross. <laughs> oh, dear. And, uh, yeah, and the person didn't come back. So I did my favourite trick. And I'm sorry if you were one of the people that I held up. But I backed out of the space so that I had enough room to open the passenger door because obviously a hubby can't stand uh, and he can't walk so he has to go from his wheelchair and transfer into the car so I have to have the width of the full car door to open the car door to get him from his wheelchair into the car so I just said right I'm just backing out if anybody can't get past us tough go and blame the person that uh, well i won't say the choice words that i called the person that has managed to squish into this gap um blame them you know it's a disabled spot we need to access to get uh, hubby in and out in his wheelchair and uh yeah so we held the traffic up a little bit in the car park <laughs> i'm getting very belligerent as i'm getting older but yeah i was just so mad i just where are people's heads? You know, it's like, do you really have to park as near to the shop as possible? You know, there was just this one narrow gap. And because it's right outside the shops, because most of the disabled spaces are outside the shops, um, then it squished into it. I mean, I don't even know how he got out of his car. Maybe he got out the sunroof. I don't know. Um, I was going to leave a note and then I thought, oh, you know what? I can't be bothered because I just can't be bothered to get into any confrontation or row with people, really. Life's too short, as it were. <laughs> I'll just sit and mutter in the car on the way home or uh, get myself a nice bun or something from the uh, from the baker's or something like that. Just mutter while I munch away on something nice. <laughs> right, so that's that one kitted up. So let's have a look at the wreath. I think I'll do that one next get rid of these so yeah that was our going to the opticians um it was raining as well which made me even crosser because you know i mean i have to once hubby's in the car i then have to get the wheelchair into the boot and everything so i was doing a lot of muttering that day <laughs> right okay so these are just numbered one to uh, 15 so these will just go in the pots there already let us on okay so ooh, there's lots of different colors in this one just pop them there and so we've got a nice little separate key code as well what do they call it a walking legend a walking key code because uh, it's not actually fixed onto the canvas so yeah we get these uh, put away as well so where's number one start at the right end yeah it's there oh dear and then, uh, yeah, with Millie's groomers, her previous groomer that she used to go to, unfortunately, uh, is no longer doing the grooming. Um, she's turned her grooming salon that she had in the ground. She's like a catery and a kennels as well. She's turned it into a granny flat for, I think it's her in-laws. Uh, so, yeah, she's not dog grooming anymore, which was really sad because Millie's been going there from uh, being little. Uh, but anyway, we found this other lovely lady called Sarah's Dapper Dogs. And uh, the people opposite, I think I've mentioned Rosie and Charlie, who live opposite. Um, they're two Cocker Spaniels. They go there. So, yeah, I thought, oh, well, we'll give her a try. Um, and, you know, I spoke to her before we went and everything before I booked it. And I just said, you know, can you do Scotty Dogs? Because not everybody can do a Scotty. You know, you've got to shape around the faces and everything. And she said, oh, well, I have got another Scotty that comes here. Um, he's a rescue Scotty. And then when I actually went, it was um, is it Saturday we went. Yeah, it was Saturday. No, no, it was Tuesday we went. Oh, I don't even know what day it is at the minute. Uh, so it was Tuesday we went. And I said, oh, you know, are you OK doing her face and everything? Because we do really like her to look like a Scotty. And she said, oh, yeah, you know, she, she looks up in all her books. She's got all her qualifications and everything. And each dog that she does, she does, she has like a little staging area where she takes a photograph of all the dogs and shows you all the dogs she's done. And it's just so sweet. It's just wonderful. Um, 
yeah obviously Millie hates photograph taking so she didn't want to pose and she came home with a little Halloween bow tie which she hates even more you may have seen it if you've uh, watched the uh, giveaway video that I did where she's uh, drawing out um, well helping her dad to draw out some uh, draw out the winner uh, she's got her little Halloween bow tie on on that so yeah she came back gift wrapped which was nice uh, but anyway we've booked in again you know she was a lovely lady and she only does one dog at a time and it's like a little um like shed well not a shed because it's like a summer house in her back garden um you know and it's got the little washing thing and everything and it's all set up it's lovely it's real real lovely feeling place um and i think you get a feel for people that like dogs you know she, it's a labour of love for her, you know, she, she's doing it because she obviously loves the dogs and talks to them and looks after them, uh, which is what you want because some people, you know, aren't like that and aren't quite as dog friendly as it were, but she definitely is. So. And Millie came back real calm, real happy, uh, no problems. So, yeah, that was a bonus as well because, you know, you, you don't want your dog... Well, she sometimes used to come back from the other groomers uh, in a bit of a mood um, and didn't speak to us for a while. But this time she's been quite happy. She looks beautiful. I mean, she's beautiful anyway. What can I say? I think we all think our dogs are beautiful. Uh, and yeah, she's done a really, really good job. So really happy about that. That's one worry off our minds. Because it's like, you know, if you go to a hairdresser all the time and suddenly your hairdresser says they're moving or they can't do your hair anymore, you oh no, where am I going to go now? Uh, yeah, it's not good. It's like in the days, uh, in the 80s when I used to have a perm, I used to think uh, having a perm was actually more, more nerve-wracking than uh, taking my driving test. <laughs> you were never quite sure how it was going to turn out. <laughs> Oh dear. Does anybody still have perms? I, I don't know. I've paid hundreds over the years to have perms to get curly hair. And I bet people who've got curly hair don't like it and try to straighten it. But I've always wanted curly hair. <laughs> oh dear. Mind you, I'm just boring now. It's just plain straight and it's either down or it's tied up. That's my different hairstyles. I've got two. <laughs> oh dear. Uh, and then yesterday, um, I think last year, I did put, um, I did talk about Hull Fair and I did put some little photographs and things up. Um, yeah, we have uh, in Hull, which says the city, which is a couple of miles down the road from us, um, we have Hull Fair and it's about 700 years old, I believe. Um, and it is the largest travelling fair in Europe so yeah it's massive so i've done a little bit of video in um, it's not brilliant unfortunately because i was pushing hubby in the wheelchair while i was trying to video as well so there's quite a few bumps in it and uh, my new phone obviously is more sensitive than my old phone so all of the fluorescent lights on the stalls and the rides are actually now flashing they weren't flashing as we were walking round, but the phone, as it picks up the picture, must show it as flashing. So if you are uh, light sensitive, please don't watch the uh, video at the end that I'll add on because you know, I don't want anybody getting poorly. So just a bit of a disclaimer and I will put that on the video as well. Um, so, yeah, we had uh, yeah flashing lights, but it was great fun. Um, I've not been to the fair for... It'll be four years. Hubby got ill 2019. So we didn't go in 2019. And then 20 was locked down. Uh, and then last year, um, the grandkids didn't want to go, sadly. Which, ooh, because I love taking them to the fair. And it's something I've gone from being a child. And then we took our kids to the fair when we could. Uh, and then um, we've taken the grandkids to the fair. So it's sort of like... A family tradition but unfortunately they didn't want to go again this year so we just uh, decided well I said to him because with him being in his wheelchair he's like oh I don't want to go I can't go around with all those crowds because obviously you forget that if you're in a wheelchair you're like low down so you're like belly button height on most people 
and it does get absolutely packed down the streets um, and around the rides and everything. So he didn't really want to go and, you know, be level with people's belly buttons or bottoms, um, which can be a little bit awkward sometimes as well, particularly with all the food that people are eating. Uh, so... <laughs> Uh, yeah, that, uh, I won't show the expression that he used, but I'll leave that to your imagination when you level with somebody's um, back end, shall we say. So, yeah, it, so I just said, well, it opens at two o'clock in the afternoon. It goes right up to midnight, I think, so it's open a long time. Um, so why don't we go as it opens? It won't be as busy. Uh, most people go around sort of five o'clock-ish onwards as it's starting to get dark because then you get all the lights from the fair and the rides and everything and you get a lot more of an atmosphere. But I said, we can just go for a walk around. Um, and he loves his brandy snap. That's a tradition, Wright's brandy snap. Um, it has to be the Wright's one. It can't be any of the others. Uh, and it comes like in a white bog. Bog? <laughs> a white bag. <laughs> With red and blue writing and pictures on so I said, you know, you can get some brandy stuff. So I said, oh, okay. So, yeah, we went yesterday. Um, we took Millie Moo. And uh, she walked through the park. But when we got into, like, the fairground, um, we picked her up and put her onto Hubby's knee. So she was being wheeled around on her wheelchair. Uh, with her dad. And, uh, yeah, it was quite funny because there was a lot of other people had taken dogs. Um, it was quite busy considering it was like, you know, just the first hour that the fair opened. And uh, yeah, she was sort of like just looking over the edge at them as if to say, oh, are you having to walk? Look, I'm being ridden round. <laughs> yeah, so that was quite fun. But uh, it was quite good as well because everybody then was looking at Millie and saying, oh, what a cute dog and everything. Because with Hubby only having one leg, he does get quite embarrassed. Uh, and people do stare, unfortunately, um, you know, and look because he's only got one leg. So it was quite nice because nobody was staring and looking at him because everybody was looking at Millie. So I said, well, you'll have to do that more often when we go out. Make sure you've got the dog on your knee and then nobody will be looking at you because I was going to look at you when there's a cute little dog smiling at him. <laughs> so she says, I think that's a compliment. I think we it. <laughs> So, yeah, that was our lovely afternoon round at the fair. Fortunately, it was quite warmish. We needed a coat on and, uh, you know, it was a little bit chilly, a little bit windy. But, yeah, we got to see it quite a bit. So I've put, as I say, a video of some of it at the end. It's not brilliant, as I say, because it's very rocky. Uh, but, yeah, so that was a bit of a fun afternoon. Right, last one to do. OK, so let's have a look at this one. see what we've got in here i can hear hubby has got something on that he's laughing raucously at and um, so i guess he's watching tiktok again he's tiktok man okay. oh, I, love this. I absolutely love this okay so i've got my label i've got my lights there i've got my little tool kit Oh, now then, this is all in bags. Hmm. Shall I put them into containers or not? Do you know, I don't think I'm going to. I think because they're already in bags and the nice big numbers on the bags as well. Yeah, one, two, three. No, I'm not going to pick that one up. So that one can stay as it is. And I will work from the bags on that one. Okay. Right, well, so that's two kitted up and one that's kitted itself up. So that's pretty good. And I've got a spare container as well. I was actually going to use my 28s container that I've not used for a long time. Well, one of many of my 28s containers that I've not used for a long time. Okay, just put my labels back in its little slot over there. 
Right, well, that is uh, all these kitted up and ready to go. So I hope you've enjoyed uh, this little chit chat and seeing these again with me. If you have, as always, that thumbs up means a lot and is really appreciated. And if you want to uh, leave a comment or a question down below, I will get back to you as soon as I can. And as always, if you don't want to subscribe and I'd love you to come and join our little family, then if you press that subscribe button down in this corner and the all notifications bell that pops up, it'll give you a notification when you log on to YouTube and say, hey, Liz has put a video up. Why not come and have a watch? <laughs> you won't miss anything. OK, well, thank you ever so much for stopping by and I do hope to see you all again soon. Bye for now. Look at that for a snake, Millie. Really. We didn't even get it in the house. <laughs> Across it was really funny. Ooh, look at them. Yeah.
Imagine taking that apart and having to put it back together again at the end of the week. Yeah, that is <laughs> huge. No. Crash test dummies. Yeah, another fun house. No, but if we go up to it, we'll later on. It's not very wheelchair friendly.